Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. So it is the 3rd of November and I'm ready to get into the Christmas spirit. Today I'm already going to do something very exciting because together with my mum and my grandma we're going to a big garden centre here close to where I live to see the big Christmas show and probably get myself a few new baubles and whilst going there I'm going to be on the metro for like half an hour so I'm going to be reading the book that I'm currently reading which is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides I think. I've been reading this one for a week or two now. I'm halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. It's just I'm not in the best reading mood at the moment and um, that's why I haven't finished it yet but it's really really good definitely a big trigger warning for suicides because it does talk a lot about this topic because it's about five sisters who all committed suicide so it's obviously about why they decide to do that so this is the book that I'll be reading and taking with me on the metro so I will keep you updated and of course I will take you along with me to the garden center I can't believe that it's November it's my favorite time of year like November December and I have been listening to a few Christmas songs already. Let me know in the comments if you also just start listening to Christmas music at the beginning of November because it's time. Okay, I just got home from the garden center with my mom and my grandma and it was so perfect. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. So I got a few things. I'll first show you the new things that I got from the garden center and then some things that I brought home with me because I went back to my parents to pick up some Christmassy stuff already. Not my baubles and everything because I don't have a tree yet, but I'm storing everything at my parents because I do not have the space for it here. So let's take a look at some things I got at the garden center. First of all, two of these things where you can wrap your Christmas lights around. Next, I got a new little nutcracker. <laughs> I thought this one was really cute. I just like the fact that it is kind of like black and white and gold. Yay, I like this vibe. I thought it was really cute. I got two of these and I'm not gonna put these in my Christmas tree because it's not really my style. However, I'm hosting a um, birthday party at the beginning of December because it's my birthday on the 20th of December. So I thought I would do a holiday glam birthday party here on the, like in the beginning of December. And I just want to use these as decorations because the theme is going to be, as I said, like holiday glam, but then with lots of gold and glitter. I got these LED lights. These are going to go outside by my window. I'm actually going to do this later today if it stays dry. So I will let you know what that looks like. But I'm so excited for new ones. I had black lights, you know, with a black string last year, but you could see them really well if they were turned off. But these are white, so you can't really see them that much when they're turned off. So I'm gonna do that right after finishing this clip. I also got this mini disco light, also for my party. It just looked really fun and cute. Two of these white ribbons that I can use to wrap presents. Also got this Woodwick white honey candle. Oh, it smells so good. So I can light this like soon because this one has one of these lovely wicks that like crackles. I also got this flower pot or like this for my plant. I hope my new plant on my bookshelf fits in here. I'm gonna have to try that out soon. But yeah, a new plant pot. And I only got one new bauble this year. I am however going to more Christmas shops later this month, but I didn't really find any that I really wanted. So I just got one, namely this one. Oh, I think it's really pretty. I have like a few of these like really pretty special baubles and then lots of these kind of filler ones. But every year I just wanna get a few new nice ones like the really pretty ones. So I just got one for now, emphasis on for now. Oh, and also just a tablecloth that I can use for my party. And then I also got, this is not really Christmassy related, a new game. This is called Doppelvauen. It means like folding whilst doubling using the dice, doubling, whatever. It's a fun game, I think. I've never played it before, but I've had my eyes on this for quite some time now. So a new game. I'm really into games lately. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, these were all the things I got new. Now let's take a look at some things that I brought back from my parents' house. I already had a cute nutcracker, so now I've got two. Like a very classical one and then a new one. They're kind of the same size, so I like this. I can put these somewhere um, around my house. All these kind of fun decorations to put on your head <laughs> because I want to do fun like Polaroid photos on my um, birthday as well as a Christmas hat. Um, ooh, Christmas pillowcase. I think I'm just gonna use the one. And I thought I lost all of these. At the beginning of autumn, I was like, oh, I want to use all of my cute autumn decorations. And I couldn't find them anywhere at my parents' house. I thought I lost them, but they were somewhere all the way at the back of the cabinet. And I found them. So these little pumpkins that I can definitely still use. Oh no, some of them are a bit broken though, but oh well. As well as these cute, um, kind of like velvety pumpkins. So I can also put these somewhere. I got all of my decorations again. And yeah. That was it. So I'm gonna just clean this up and then we're gonna start decorating or like putting the lights around my window here. Happy weekend, happy Saturday, it's the next day. So as you saw yesterday, I put all the lights by my window and it looks so freaking magical. So I thought I would also show you a few of the other decorations that I put out yesterday. First of all, by my piano, I got my old nutcracker, which is really cute, right over there. And these cute um, pumpkins. Let me see this lovely advent calendar. A uh, calendar candle that I can light whenever it's December 1st. So I need to wait a little bit longer, but that's okay. And let me see, my other nutcracker is right over there on my bookshelf. And my new scented candle, the wig one, is right over here. It's just like, I always just put it right in the middle if I'm lighting it because it looks a bit cuter. But if I want to watch TV, I'll just put it here. And let me think, oh, I have something else in my kitchen. I always put this thing right on my windowsill and normally just had the fake eucalyptus, but now I put these fake berries in there as well because I think it looks very festive. And that's that. I don't have that many Christmas decorations yet, but you know, I'm going to be adding lots of things to that in the upcoming weeks. I'm feeling very festive, but it's Saturday. I'm just gonna have a very cozy Saturday. I don't really have any plans, but I'm just going to get some coffee in town and hang out with my boyfriend and probably just watch I don't know, a film or something, because I think it's gonna be super, super rainy late today. So very much an autumnal day. Hello, welcome, happy Monday. I'm gonna give you a little update on my reading and my weekend soon, but as you could just see, I changed up this bit of my living room because I got home and I was just kind of fed up with these little shelves that were there. They've been there for so many years and I just wanted something different. I realized I still had lots of little frames and you know paintings around my house so i got rid of them and i do it a little gallery wall <laughs> so let's take a quick look i really like the way it looks i'm still going to get some more frames to go down there so i still had lots of frames left with a friend of mine some cool frames from the senio some like painting thingies just really fun cool things yay <laughs> so i wanted to change it up and now i've got a little gallery wall over here as well as over here, this one is still my favorite. It's like so big and I'm still adding to it now and again. Let's do a little update on my weekend and my reading. Very orange, but oh well. First of all, my reading of The Virgin Suicides. I am loving this. It's so freaking good. And I'm on page 175. So I am definitely over halfway through and I think it's just so freaking good. So highly recommending this one already. But then what I did on the weekend, because I had such a lovely weekend. My boyfriend and I decided to bake some cookies. <laughs> we wanted to do like gingerbread cookies, but I still had this cookie recipe thing at home, like a box of, you know, 
cookie dough. Um, but it was just these not like sand cookies are called. So not really gingerbread cookies and they didn't look very nice. So we didn't decorate them. We just ate them. <laughs> but they were very good. And then we also watched The Holiday. <laughs> Top five favorite Christmas films ever. Um, my favorite one is Love actually. Probably The Holiday is number two. So it was a very festive day. And whilst watching The Holiday, we ate fish and chips. <laughs> it was perfect. There's this little like food truck here in Rotterdam, it's called Chippy Chips and it's owned by this British woman. It's the best freaking fish and chips in Rotterdam. Have I had any other fish and chips in Rotterdam? I don't think so, but this is like legit fish and chips because it's made by a British woman. So she knows how to cook like proper fish and chips. So if you're ever in Rotterdam, highly recommend Chippy Chips. Oh, so freaking good. And then on Sunday, in the beginning of the afternoon, we did a little pool competition with just the two of us because there's a fun pool cafe um, close to where I live. And we decided to rent a table and play a few games. I hope he's not gonna be mad at me for saying this, but I won four out of five games. <laughs> yes. I did lose one. And the bet was that the one who lost has to wear ugly Christmas socks like out and about um, outside. So he could choose the Christmas socks that I'm going to be wearing for a day out, <laughs> but it's not the worst bet to lose. I mean, they're Christmas socks. And then in the afternoon or like in the evening um, on Sunday, I went to Utrecht to have dinner with Quirina, Leora and Jolien, who are three of my you know, like bookish friends. And it was such a lovely time. We went to Ruby Rose and it was delicious. It looked really freaking beautiful on the inside and it was just a very, very lovely evening. We had oysters, we had like all of these little sharing bites, you know, it's basically a concept where you get all these little dishes that you can share. So it was a perfect weekend, it was so lovely. And today on Monday as well, it was such a good day because that's currently 6 p.m. I had to work in the store in Delft today. And when I got home, or like when I went home, I just needed to get a few things in town and everyone in such a good mood and just like so kind and giving compliments and just I don't know everyone was in such a good mood so that made me so freaking happy and I was just like listening to Christmas music I was walking through the sun I just yes it was such a good day honestly so now I'm just going to be making myself some dinner I'm going to make like a burger and I'm excited with some like hash browns and some salad and just have a very cozy evening. Hopefully read a bit more from the Virgin Suicides. <sighs> I don't know. I'm feeling very, very good. It's just, <laughs> it's my favorite time of year and I'm literally trying to enjoy it to the max. The rest of the week, it's going to be very busy with packing orders for my latest shop update because I added lots of like autumnal items to my shop and I'm so excited about all the new items. Thank you so much for everyone who's like giving all of these kind, like sending me messages like, oh, I'm loving the products and just the the designs, like commenting on my Instagram. And honestly, it means the world. So thank you so much. If you bought anything, if you want to buy something, there is a little discount code in the description. And I'm just so grateful to be do, like to be able to do this as my job, to like design fun bookish products and I'm very excited about the new products. So definitely take a look in the description, to, like a link to my website or to my Etsy where you can get the products. So maybe just have a cheeky look and maybe just like the shop because that also always helps on Etsy if you just like a shop. But yeah, I'm just feeling very good. Welcome to this very rainy Friday afternoon. This morning I did some work, I shipped some orders and now I'm just like working on my computer editing this vlog. But I wanted to give you some final reading updates because I have finally finished The Virgin Suicides and it was so good. I loved the narration style. It's a really unique narration style from this point of view of multiple people but you don't really know who is talking at the specific time that you're reading. It was so good and very kind of tough to read as well. And just interesting, like seeing 
how these girls lived through the perspective of different people. So you don't read it from the perspective of the girls, but you read it from people in that town or in that neighborhood. Highly recommend it. I think I'm gonna give it like 4.25, maybe four and a half out of five stars. I now also really want to see the film. I actually started it yesterday, but I was a bit tired, so I couldn't really focus. So I've decided to stop that for now. I will probably finish it one day, um, but it's already from 1999. I actually didn't really realize that this book is already like 30 years old. <laughs> it looked quite new from the cover, but it's probably a newer cover. But it's actually quite an old book already, so I like that it's gaining a bit more popularity. I'm also listening to two audiobooks at the moment. I am very much into listening to celebrity memoirs. Some of my favorites are Michelle Obama, um, Jeanette McCurdy, Viola Davis. I just like listening to celebrity memoirs. I don't know, it's just very easy to listen to and interesting. So recently I listened to Britney Spears' one and then I also saw Paris Hilton has a memoir. So I'm listening to Paris Hilton's memoir and I've decided to listen to Matthew Perry's memoir. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself because listening to it makes it even worse. Just listening and hearing about how he so wanted to get better, how he so wanted to, you know, make the best out of life and now him not being here anymore honestly is just oh, i can't get over this it still feels so surreal and i've wanted to read his book for a long time now but i never really got to it and i couldn't find the audiobook anywhere because i like listening to celebrity memoirs on audio because oftentimes they narrate it themselves and it really gives this kind of extra dimension to their story but then i saw that it's on audible but i don't really have an audible account so i set up an account just to um listen to his memoir and i'm not enjoying it <laughs> it's very very sad and tragic and i feel very sorry for everything that he's been through but yeah i do really want to finish it and it's just so brave for him telling the story and it's even more heartbreaking knowing that he is not here anymore but enough about that, otherwise I'm gonna cry again. But I'm going to finish doing some work, I'm going to finish editing this vlog, and I will start a new vlog next week on Monday, because this weekend I'm actually hosting a readathon over on my Patreon. So on the 11th and the 12th of November, it's for all patrons, and it's kind of an autumn-themed readathon. So I'm just going to be reading a lot and doing a live show on Sunday. So by the time you're seeing this, you may, like, you could potentially still um, join to join the readathon very, very last minute. But yeah, I'm very excited for the readathon. So I'm going to vlog for that this weekend and then I'll be back on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a Christmas tree. I love you. <laughs> because I did some Christmas shopping and yeah, it's making me very happy. Okay, thank you again so much. I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.